2018 Magic. Andrew Dixon sent off seven minutes into the second half last week. Liam Kay, Josh McCrone and Darcy Lussick all sin bin. But with the exception of Lussick, who is injured, they're all here tonight. So away we go. And uh, the players will be sheltering their eyes from the sunshine, which is streaming down from an absolutely cloudless... We don't need much introduction as far as he is concerned. Hulkingston Rovers and Salford formerly. McCrone gets a short ball away, but it's spilled again, and Planas picks it up. But now they've got the ball back, and here goes Liam Kay, and Liam Kay gets over for the first try. No video referee, as I say. The two touch judges are in position. This is going to be given. It is. Gorians. Time out. And Briley. He adds the extra two points around him and trying to get almost to the try line. Oh, just pushed back. There is Emmett. Oh, good ball. Stanley even better. And out wide it comes, and that is Matty Russell on his Toronto Wolfpack debut. <laughs> Former Wigan Hall. Sent off in the Magic last year for the Lee Centurions. Here is Briley. He's brought his shooting boots with him, that's for sure. They're on the jump. Well, no point in even thinking about the two points on offer. And Bentley carting it forward into the 10 metre zone of Toronto for the first time. So let's see how good the Wolfpack are at defence. Well, that's good work from Corella, their leading scorer. The only ever present in the side this year, Mark Corella. But he's grounded five metres away from the line. A bit of an entanglement with Chase Stanley. Oh, and he's going on his own here, and he gets the try! Does the hooker Kouache. That's good play from Toulouse, and the first time that the Toronto defence was under pressure, Toulouse found the hole, found the gap, and terrific goal kicker is Kerala. That was an easy chance for him, but the lead... And chances here for Sidlow. And Sidlow getting to the line, and Toulouse straining every sinew to push him back into the field of play. Bezik, good ball, Dixon, and Dixon spins away from the would-be challenges, and Dixon gets over the line. I think he left... On uh, the Cronulla, it is being reported on the, uh, the websites, reportedly he has signed for Toronto from Cronulla, but... Um, three. Jonathan Ford again. Good hands, good pass out wide. Here is Worthington, the young Wiganer on loan. Enjoying, I'm sure, even though it's been brief, the lifestyle in the south of France. Ford again. Up to neat pass off once and more, and that's a great try for Marion. And there were question marks about that defence from Toronto then. Anthony Marion. Formerly with Albi. Utility back, on as a substitute, and I wonder if that is the... Uh, ...within four points, as we're in the last minute of the first half. He's missed it! He sliced it wide. Fantastic second half. Here is Curran once more. Carella into Sangare, and Sangare will take the final tackle of the first half. And uh, Toronto, the leaders, are four points ahead against Toulouse, the team in. And next year, we'll have cardboard cutouts of Barry and Terry. In fact, we have them already, and he's alongside me now, Terry. He gets to his feet here on the last and play the ball to Bezik, who comes down the short side. O'Brien gets it away to Liam Kay. I think he's... Has he got this in the corner? Has he touched it down? He scores some good tries, Liam Kay. Makes over 100 metres every time he carries the ball. Knows how to finish. Left is his arm up, is his arm up, is his arm up. Oh, he loses the ball. John. <laughs> Ryan Briley with this difficult conversion attempt. Oh. And Four. providing the pitches sorted out because that's why they've been playing mostly over here in 2018. This is a good run from Bob Bezik and he's got support there from McCrone. It's a good ball to Ryan Briley. And Ryan Briley goes underneath the sticks for a crucial Toronto try. Composed, more accomplished player now. 
And of course, he was under Paul Rowley at Lee, and he's under Mason Stanley. They've been really effective on the short side, haven't they? Had all game first half that led to the Liam K first try. They're really moving this defence around. Good ball wide. Liam Kay's on his way for a hat trick. It's a hat trick for Liam Kay, and there's nothing wrong with that one. The fourth try hat trick attempt. 20 points they lead by. Ryan Briley has just pulled this. All hands to the pump defensively. They play the ball. Buzinak, short pass. Chances here. Help! Release! Five. And Bentley has halted. Buzinak goes himself. And Buzinak has pinched one from dummy half. Well, that's exactly what Toulouse wanted. That just might breathe life into them because there's plenty of time left. Charles Buzinak. Here's the. Conversion attempt and it's a good run from Russell. Quick play the ball as well. Besic then gets it to Briley. Briley up and over the top forward. Surely a forward pass to Chase Stanley. Referee's going to give it. Shield from up here. That fabulous player. Well, it's three meters. Yeah. It started on the one tonight and they will be quacking all the way home. <laughs> the uh, must his way to the line. They just hold him up. No one there at dummy half. O'Brien in quickly. Briley goes for a one pointer. Ah, oh, hits the post and goes over. How fortunate from Bartow. Bezik quickly in a dummy half. Short ball. <laughs> Sam Hopkins. Good try. Good try. We've got a team called the Bradford Bulls. In Toronto, they play junior ice hockey based in the city. Well, you never know by oh. game four, Eddie. <laughs> when the curtain comes down, they could be called then. I doubt it. Ford, okay. nice little tip over the top. Here's Carella back on the inside. It goes to Reese Curran. And Toulouse get over for possibly, possibly the last try of the match. Good line from him. Really well played from the back rower. Again. Last 30 seconds of the match. Can Toulouse leave Newcastle with something to think about? Boyer gets the ball away to Jonathan Ford. Yes, they can! Tremendous try from Jonathan Ford. OK, Toronto may be a little tired, knowing that the game is won. Perhaps... 23-30, if this ball goes over. And indeed it does. Toronto extending a four-point half-time lead to win out 43-30, as Eddie has said, in the end. Well, it's...